All right, thank you, Bill. Bay Area scientists today said we need to decide what we're going to say to extraterrestrials. A recent discovery of a mystery signal, along with new technology, are leading some to predict we'll soon have a chance for a cosmic conversation. It's really startling when you think about it. KTVU Health and Science Editor John Fowler is here now with more. John? Startling it is, and it could be humanity's most important message, a simple hello. Across the globe, radio receivers like these are listening for a signal of intelligent life in the universe. And as in the movie Contact, real astronomers today say they have at least one mystery signal picked up by this dish in Puerto Rico last month. And they're confident technical advances will turn up a sign of ET. We probably won't be able to decode it. We'll know they're out there, there's something out there, but we won't know much about their civilization. I'm cautiously optimistic we'll find something by the year 2025. Later this year, astronomers will debate what message, if any, to send back. Personally, I'm not worried about signaling our presence to the stars. To begin with, maybe the aliens are friendly, maybe they're hostile, I mean, who knows? But even if they're hostile, it's a long way to go to come here and, uh, you know, molest us. According to the famous Drake equation, astronomers estimate there are some 10,000 intelligent civilizations just in our galaxy. The nearest one is likely very far away. But many scientists urge caution when it comes to initiating contact. They say it might be foolish, even dangerous for Earth, to assume we know all the risks. I don't think Earthlings should transmit messages right now. We're an emerging civilization. We're just getting in the game. Wertheimer heads the SETI at Home project at UC Berkeley. He says listening is one thing, replying quite another. We're just learning how to do this, and we really don't know what we're up to, and so we need to be careful. A recent survey shows Americans overwhelmingly support sending a message. Hello, welcome. and uh, Welcome, you'd like them to come on over? Well, yeah, if they're there. What would your message be? Don't eat us. <laughs> Any materials you'd like to help us with? We're running out of oil. <laughs> In a sense, we've been sending messages to the stars for about 60 years, TV and radio broadcasts, but scientists today said we need to think about what we would say perhaps to improve that image. Reporting live, Health and Science Editor John Fowler, KTVU, Channel 2.